back everybody. Today I thought it would be fun to have some stories about the meadow. And in the meadow there are five, whoa, green and speckled frogs. So I thought maybe we would sing their song first. Do you know this song? And it goes like this. Can you count five? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glob, glob. Let's count them. One, two, three, four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Can you say glub, glub? Glub, glub. Let's count them. One, two, three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled lot, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glob, glob. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were how many? One green speckled frog, glob, glob. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Boo. Because they all moved from their log to the pool to have a little swim. It would be nice to have a little swim in a nice cool pool, wouldn't it? Well, while they're having their swim and munching on their bugs, we are going to have some stories. And the first story that we're going to have today is about a ladybug. Have you ever seen a ladybug? A ladybug is a beautiful little bug that's red with black spots. And it crawls and it flies and it's really kind of fun to watch. It's really, really Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire, your children are gone. This is just a silly rhyme. His house is not really on fire, and his children aren't really gone, are they? House all afire, can it be so? Poor ladybug doesn't know which way to go. Ladybug, ladybug, blown by the breeze, over the field and into the trees. If you look closely in the summer, you might see ladybug, bur, <laughs> ladybugs flying from this branch to that branch, from this leaf to that leaf, and sometimes they land on us, and they're kind of tickly. Ladybug, ladybug lands in some smoke. There's really a fire? It isn't a joke? Mm, I don't think that's smoke. I think that's fog. What do you think? Ladybug, ladybug, fly away, fly. That frog has a hungry look in his eye. Ooh, that ladybug better fly or that frog's gonna go glub. Like our little green and speckled frogs went glub, right? Ladybug, ladybug, which way to go? Old snail is friendly, but he doesn't know. Maybe ladybug just trying to find its way home. Ladybug, ladybug, better not pause so close to those dangerous razor sharp claws. That kitty looks like my kitty Sammy, doesn't he? And that kitty wants to catch the bug and he's kind of swiping at him with his paws. Ladybug, ladybug, pass by the pigs. He is too full to help and too lazy to try. The pig said, I can't help you. I'm just rolling in the mud. Ladybug, ladybug, go to the crow. Ask him the way. He'll probably know. Hmm, I wonder if the crow will help him. You think so? 
Ladybug, ladybug, deep in the wood, squirrel can't help, but she wishes she could. The squirrel is busy feeding her family. If you look closely, you'll see the ladybug on that mushroom. Do you see it? It's teeny, teeny, tiny right there. Hard to see it in this picture, isn't it? Ladybug, ladybug, once again blown. Is it too late? Are your children all gone? Oh, the little boy is holding the ladybug. I like to do that sometimes, and then I let it go off into the air. Ladybug, ladybug, off in a rush. Follow the bees to the blackberry bush. Woo, look at all of the bees going bzzz, And the ladybug is following to get home. Ladybug, ladybug, all's clear at last. Fly to your children. Fly home to them fast. There's the ladybug flying home. Ladybug, ladybug, safely at home. It isn't on fire. Your children aren't gone. They're all sound asleep, snug in their nest. Ladybug joins them. At last, she can rest. And I don't know if you can see it, but in those leaves are lots and lots and lots of ladybugs. Those are her children, and they were waiting for her to come home. And that is the end. And we saw lots of animals in that book, didn't we? And we're gonna see lots in this book too. This book is called Over in the Meadow. And last week we had a book that had a jacket. Remember what that was? That was a cover. This book has a jacket too, so I'm going to take it off. That's the cover of the book because it's hard to read a book with a jacket on. And this one is called Over in the Meadow. And we can sing this book. You might know this song, in fact. Look at that beautiful inside page. I see a bee and some flowers and a tree with an owl. And I see a mouse, I think. I'm not sure if that's a mouse or a gopher. All of those things in the meadow, very, very pretty. And on the cover, I saw a mama bird feeding her babies in the meadow. Over in the meadow. An old counting rhyme. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. Dig, said the mother, we dig, said the one. So they dug all day in the sand, in the sun. That was one turtle. What comes after one? No, you're so smart too, of course. Over in the meadow where the stream runs blue lived an old mother fish and her little fishes too. Swim, said the mother, we swim, said the two. So they swam all day where the stream runs blue. Look at that beautiful blue stream and the two little fish. What comes after two? One, two, over in the meadow in the wide oak tree lived an old mother owl and her little owls three. One, two, three. Who said the mother? Who, who said the three? So they hooed all day in the wide oak tree. One, two, three. What comes after three? One, two, Three. Over in the meadow by the old barn door lived an old mother rat and her little rats four. Gnaw, said the mother, we gnaw, said the four. So they gnawed all day by the old barn door. One, two, three, four little rats. They're gnawing or eating some corn, that looks yummy for them. After four comes, one, two, three, four, five. Over in the meadow in a snug beehive lived an old mother bee and her little bees five. Bzzz, said the mother, we bzzz, said the five. So they buzzed all day all snug in their hive. One, two, three, four, five. What comes after five? Let's count on our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm 
wonder what there'll be six of. Let's see. Oh, that's like the picture on the cover. Look, the mama bird with her babies. Over in the meadow in a nest made of sticks lived an old mother crow and her little crow's six. Caw, said the mother, we caw, said the six. So they cawed all day in their nest made of sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. They look very hungry, don't they? What comes after six? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. You, you got it, seven. You knew before I even said it. Seven comes after six. Oh, what is that? That's like our song. Are those frogs and tadpoles? Over in the meadow where the green grass grows even lived an old mother frog and her little froggy seven. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the seven. So they jumped all day where the grass grows even. Let's count them. That's a lot to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven jumping little frogs. Who's after seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Let's see what there is eight of. What is that? Are those lizards? Over in the meadow by the old mossy gate lived an old mother lizard and her little lizards eight. Bask, said the mother. We bask, said the eight. So they basked all day by the old mossy gate. To bask is to lay in the sun and let it beat down on you. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're just basking in the sun. What comes after eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I always have a hard time getting that ninth finger up, so sometimes I put that one up first before I put up 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see what there is nine of in this book. Three lizards. What is that? Are those ducks? Over in the meadow, in the pond by the pine, swam an old mother duck and her little ducklings nine. Quack, said the mother. We quack, said the nine. So they quacked all day in the pond by the pine. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The ninth one is ducking down to find something to eat because he's hungry. Okay, here we go. What comes after nine? We get to use all our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see what there's ten of. We're gonna have to do some good counting for this one. Oh, do you know what those are? Those are beavers. Over in the meadow in a cozy wee den lived an old mother beaver and her little beavers ten. Build, said the mother. We build, said the ten. So they built all day near the cozy wee den. Let's count ten. One, two, three, four, five in the water. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Building their cozy wee den. They're very busy, aren't they? Busy as a beaver. And that is the end of the meadow story. And there they are, all busy, all busy in the meadow. And I hope it's a very sunny, pretty day today. Maybe you can go out and enjoy the beautiful weather and see some birds and some bees. I don't know if you'll see any beavers, but if you do, that would be fun. Bye for now, everyone.